Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video with me, I have a MRE, which is basically, I'll explain in a second, uh, something you guys actually wanted me to eat for whatever reason. Uh, a few people rec recommend that I try one. Uh, I don't know what, oh wait, never mind, this is a flavor in the front. I was gonna say, I don't know what flavor I got, but it says right there. This is a rib shaped barbecue flavor pork patty that sounds delicious. So we're gonna get into this right now. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, basically the military, they eat these like when they're out on war or like basically like, it's just like this whole bag is like a meal inside. So basically like instead of having like, you know, kitchen and all that stuff like, hey, just take this and eat this, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. So if I say anything that makes me sound like an idiot, just assume it's for that exact reason. I got my, my commando knife here because I'm trying to simulate being in war because I can never survive in an actual war. <laughs> okay. Alright. Wow, it's kind of fancy. Oh my god, it smells <laughs> It's kind of fancy in there. So we're going to get this out. So right here in the first bag we have... What is this? A... We have mints. Cool mints. Yeah, you can't, can't fight a war with bad breath. <laughs> we got... Uh, gum. Okay. We got... Beverage based lemonade. I'm gonna get some water for that too. We got sugar. We got a moist towelette because you can't have dirty hands in war either. And we also have what looks to be a napkin. So that's like our little like accessories pack, I guess. So let me get some water real quick so I can make my lemonade real quick. All right, got the water. And I didn't have a bottle of water, so I'm just gonna use this. Let me try that first. So pour this into the water real quick. <laughs> That's not even supposed to, have you ever like had those like uh, Perel ones you pour in there and they look like all like, you know, you pour it in there and it just like expands perfectly. This one just came down in chunks. I'm pretty sure it was a shake it, but we're not going to do that because I don't have a bottle and I can't shake this obviously. So that's out the way. Um, so now let's get to the actual main part. What I'm really interested about is how you cook this because I know that they cook like using some kind of like chemical reaction I think. Unless I'm thinking of the wrong ones. So I'm really interested to see how these ones cook though. So this is the empty bag. Now let's see what we have. We have strawberry jam. That sounds appetizing, kind of. Barbecue sauce. A beef snack. <laughs> I mean, could they, could they at least give these things some, like more appetizing names? I mean, like call them like I don't know, a juicy beef steak. I don't know. That's even weirder. <laughs> so apparently, this whole thing is actually like 1,400 calories. So. That's actually like if you're like trying to survive for like you know like, a, like you know a long time. If you bought like one of these, that's basically you know that's almost enough food for like the whole day basically. Depending on who you are, obviously, but that's like almost you could eat one of these and be good for the day really, calorie wise, almost. So you know that's actually not that bad. It's fourteen dollars for one. I mean I'm sure you can buy them in bulk cheaper. That's kind of a lot for one meal if you ask me. Fourteen dollars for one meal. Again, there's probably cheaper ways to get them, but. Based off of my, you know, where I got mine, fourteen dollars a meal is kind of a lot. I mean, they feed, they feed kids in Africa for fifty cents a day. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Oh, this is my, uh, this is the, uh, the thing. Okay, so this this is the thing. It's this goes in here, and then this goes in this. I think. I couldn't survive in the war, guys. I can't even make the food. Oh my gosh. So this goes in here, I believe. This is what, from what my understandings are. I mean, these instructions are kind of cryptic. Maybe it's just me. But right here, there's like, this is one part I love the most. That it just says, oh, you know, basically, you know, put on an incline against a rock or something. Like, I don't know, a rock or something, you know. It's just kind of, okay. Okay, so. I got this in here, now I'm hoping that I just put this in there and then add the water, things will just start happening. If that doesn't work, then, then I guess we're just eating cold pork and cold rice and beans. <laughs> Let's just hope. Okay, so here it goes. Watch me set this whole room on fire. Fire. Wait, I'm thinking I'm supposed to, oh wait, no, no. I'm supposed to look to see how far down it is. Oh my God. I think I already messed it up, but whatever. We're gonna keep going here. Is it getting hotter? Oh yeah, yeah, it's getting really hot. Ooh, it's getting really hot. <laughs> That's it right there. Okay, so you just don't want to overfill it. I don't know where overfilling line is. I think I already passed it, but. So now I gotta fold this over just like that. It actually wasn't that complicated. I think I was like more nervous about messing it up because like, I don't know, I just thought I was gonna mess it up. But it actually isn't that difficult. So now I gotta wait 15 minutes and then we're good. 
And this thing's getting really hot, like almost too hot to touch almost. But anyway, so yeah, so now I basically gotta wait, um, as it says, for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna skip ahead for this part, obviously, because you don't wanna sit here and be holding this like this for 15 minutes. It's getting really hot real fast. Okay, so I'm gonna put this lean it against a rock or something. <laughs> All right, so I think it's done. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna take them out now, and I thought you guys might probably want to see me hurt myself if I uh, if I do. So I wanted to take it out with you guys. Yeah, cause this is like insanely hot. <sighs> okay, that one got out safe. That was the easy one though, cause I had the long tab. Here goes the hard one. I'm not even sure if I was. Okay, got it. it smells super bad too, but ooh yeah, that's that's definitely should be hot enough. All right, so now let me get these open now. So that's gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna open them up real quick and then I'll show you guys the aftermath. It's still pretty hot, but not as hot. <laughs> oh, that does not smell good at all. Okay guys, so this is the food right here. Um, that looks disgusting. That looks pretty nasty too. I put a lot of barbecue sauce on. This is the pork patty, just hoping that would make up for it. All the barbecue sauce. There's our beef stick. And they gave us jelly and peanut butter and two pieces of bread. So I thought, why not make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? So hopefully this all doesn't taste as bad as it looks. Um, yeah. All right, so we're going to get into this right now. Um, this just gave, like, look at this food. just gave me more respect than I already had for, like, the military in general. Like, just because, like, can you imagine being at, like, war? And, like, that's already a god-off situation. And then, like, for this to be what you have to eat. Like, it's, like, the, the simplest thing to look forward to is, like, you know, food. And then it's, like, even that kind of sucks. That's just terrible. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try this out, though. Um, let's think, I think we should start with, like, the least bad thing and then work our way up. So I'm going to start with the beef stick and then go to the PBJ, pb and J. I think there's a hair on this beef stick, but that's probably from me. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and then uh, this one's going to be the pork patty last. Our pork patty's going to be uh, fourth, our third, and then this is going to be last, the rice. That looks the nastiest. Um, but before that, I'm going to do a little social media posts on Snapchat. If you don't have me on Snapchat, then well, shameless plug. <laughs> Definitely go uh, add, you know, scan that real quick. I'll give it a second for you to scan it, and then uh, yeah. All right, hopefully you did. <laughs> I'm a lot of fun on Snapchat. You definitely need to add me. Uh, let's drink this lemonade first, actually, before I do that. Lemonade's not that bad. It actually, it's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't taste like you know actual like good lemonade, but if I was in a survival situation, I could drink that. That's not too bad. It's better than water, I guess. Like better than just tastelessness. Okay, so like I said, let's do this. I'm gonna start with the uh, PB. Or actually, let's do the beef stick first. So beef stick. Mm. It tastes like a really shitty uh, Slim Jim. That's pretty much it. I can eat this. When I'm eating this stuff, I'm gonna compare it to like if I could eat this if I was trying to survive. I mean, if I was trying to survive, I was into the world and I had nothing else to eat, a zombie apocalypse, whatever you want to call it, I could eat this. I mean, it's not great, but better than nothing. So, that's gone. Now, I'm gonna do my PB and J real quick. So the bread's not the best ever, but here's my PB and J. All right, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. If I was trying to survive, this would be my go-to so far. This is pretty decent. I can actually get everybody this. I actually might eat this after the video. That's actually really good. Now for the pork patty. This is definitely going to be interesting. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but whatever. Okay, well, it's going to be a pork patty. Whew. It's got a lot of grease on it. Okay, that's not very good. Come on, we got this. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, man. <sighs> Woo! Okay, I got it. That was good. That was not. That I mean, was not good. That was terrible. I mean, I was good that I got it down. Okay, now it's time to try the thing I was most scared of: the rice and beans. And it looks like chicken actually too is in here. I'm not 100 percent sure. I honestly can't tell what it is. It just looks like yellow mush. So that'll zoom. That'll actually focus. That's what that looks like. Not very good at all. Oh, that's actually better than the, uh, it's actually better than the pork. You know what that pork tastes like, actually? 
It is a the McRib. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a McRib. And I'm not a big fan of the McRib, so that's probably why I didn't like it. So if you like the McRib, that probably wouldn't be that bad for you. But for me, I hate the rib McRib. I've always thought it was disgusting, so that's not very good to me. But like I said, if you like McRib, that's literally exactly what it tastes like. So if you like that, you'd be fine with this. The McRib. And in a survival state, I could eat all this. Like obviously, I think if anybody was in a survival state where they're like, you know, I'm gonna die if I don't eat this, you could eat it. Like nobody that couldn't eat this if they were gonna die. But the best items, the PB and J that I made, the rice and beans aren't bad, and the beef stick, also, it's just whatever. It isn't really, it's not bad, not good, it's just whatever. <clears throat> this lemonade is actually pretty bomb though. Like I said, if I'm getting any of this stuff wrong, you know, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting, probably getting a lot of this stuff wrong. But, you know, I tried it, tasted decent. If you guys knew me, a huge favor, hit that like button just for me trying it out. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. This Friday's video is going to be pretty awesome, so definitely look forward to that. Um, yeah, just, wait, just look forward to it. <laughs> I'm really you know, hoping it goes well. The editing's going to take me a while, but should have it out by Friday. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.